Hello, James Arter here. I've got a quick one for you. I want to look at selection-based processing in Logic. It's a really cool feature. There are so many different places you can use it. I'm going to give you just a little bit of a guide. As always, if you like the video, hit the like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe below and also sign up to the mailing list in the description and I will send you free things you can use in your mixes, which is just amazing. Okay, so let's dive in. Now, why would you want to use this? There are many, many reasons why you would, but often it will be that you want to process just a small part of the song or a small part of the track and not affect the rest of the song. So one common thing might be on a vocal where you want to create that kind of radio lo-fi effect just for certain parts and then have it normal for the rest of it. And well, this is a really quick way of being able to do that. For any of the Pro Tools users out there, it's sort of similar to selecting a region or a part in a region and going up to Audio Suite and processing it from there. But this does just a little bit more and I'm gonna show you. So what we've got is a vocal. So you better get your gun Cause they're gonna cut you down Okay, we get the idea. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something fun with it. Now I've already selected the part that I wanna do, so I've got this region here. And then all you need to do is right click, processing, selection based processing, boom. And you get this handy little window. Now I'll go through all of the options we can choose in a second, but let's just Let's just show you the basics first. So we've got two different settings here. We've got A or B, they're essentially two separate racks. Now you can happily just try it. some of the presets that Logic already has. Let's have a little look. Let's, let's go to effects, lo-fi radio, and it's populated the menu with a nice selection there. Now to listen to it in action, if you hit preview, it will do that immediately. But also because of what's selected here, it's gonna solo that track and it's gonna immediately put that track or that selected region in cycle mode as well. So let's just see what happens when you do that. So you better get your gun. It's a little bit aggressive as it goes, so I'm probably not gonna use that. But of course you can take those out if you like. Or even if you do start that, you can unsolo the track and just hear it within the track. So let's just do that very quickly. So you better get your gun. Cause they're gonna cut you down. Okay. Cool, so you get the idea. At this point, I'm not quite happy with that sound, so I'm gonna keep it as it is, but just try a different one. So I'm gonna do my version of it, which would probably be using something like this, which is Joey Sturgis Tones Gain Reduction. It's really cool. Chuck the old lo-fi on, smash it a bit. Probably gonna need a EQ in there too. And do the old favorite, lovey jubbly. Let's just see what that's sounding like. We're gonna do that same process. Hit preview. So you better get your gun. Cause they're gonna cut you down And it's awful now And we'll try that with a track So you better get your gun Cause they're gonna cut you down And it's awful now And then adjust it to however you like doesn't matter that it doesn't really sound perfect at the moment it's that's not the point this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting so of course i can already just cycle between the two and find the sound that i like better it's not a that sounded rubbish and then you've got a couple options so first option you just hit apply and it's going to bounce that sound into the region like so there we go so you better get your go Okay, and the rest of it is unaffected. Or the other option, which I find a little bit more useful, if you choose create new take, then what it's gonna do is it's gonna bounce those effects like it did before, but it's actually gonna do it in a take folder. So you still have access to the original region. So let's do that. And now as you can see, we've got the affected version, which I've just created, and the original, which can be especially useful if you you haven't decided whether you wanna do the whole verse like that or just a bit of it. You can do the whole thing and then just use the quick swipe to make the change afterwards. So that one is a little bit of a of a safer option and also a little bit more creative, I find. Now, the other option you've got in here is add effect towel. Now, with something like this particular effect, it's not going to make a difference really whether you click that or not. But if you're using an effect where it has a tail like a reverb or a delay, something which will potentially continue after that region selection, then you want to make sure that you select that. It just means that it's not going to cut off your 
reverb will cut off your delay when it gets to the end of that region. So really important if you're doing effects like that. Now the last one is split at marquee borders. Now this is only relevant when you're using the marquee tool. If you haven't seen my video on using the marquee tool, then go and check that out now. I'll leave a little thing above that. But basically what that means is say we just want to use one little part of audio. We just want to affect this little bit here. I have the marquee tool selected as I always do. Again, check out that video if you haven't already. And then if we, what we're gonna do is we'll turn off selection based processing for now. We're just gonna select a part we wanna process and it's just there. Now without even doing anything to it, just right click selection based processing and the same thing will, will appear. And one thing to remember, by the way, all of these plugins that you had already populated in the racks will remain. So really handy if you're doing something repetitively, like you have something where you're trying to fix the plosives or use a noise gate on, on just a number of areas. You can use it really, really quickly in lots of different places. So that's really, really handy to know. Right, so at this point, so we've loaded it up. Now we can do split at marquee borders. And what it means it will do is once it's applied the effect, it will actually make a cut. So therefore making a new region. Okay, so let's, let's do that. And now we're gonna apply that same effect that we had before. And you'll see it's made a cut. So we've got these two separate region, regions now. And because I had it set up to do create new take, it's put it into a take folder as well. But we don't necessarily have to do new takes. We can again do the same thing, split, but just take away the create new take. And there we go. It's cut up the region, but just done it within that same take. Now, finally, we've got one more thing, which is actually very useful too. So I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to create a selection there. Okay, this is a part that I want to affect. As you'll notice before, due to the effect, adding all of the compression and whatnot, it's actually made it louder so it's made all those waveforms you can see there they're much louder than they were originally this time on the gain part here as you see it actually says no change if you change that to loudness loudness compensation it's going to take into account how much it's boosting with those effects and bring it back down to the original level okay so let's do that i'm going to leave the split on there for now so we'll do apply and as you can see, it's the same level as it was originally, but just now with the effect on it. Yeah, let's just have a listen to that, see how awful it sounds. And there you go. So hopefully you'll see by that, that's actually a very, very powerful tool and there's lots of different things that you can use it for. You can use it to set up repetitive tasks where you're just wanting to apply the same effect to multiple regions all over the place. Or you can use it just to apply effect to one certain part, but maybe A, B between the two settings that you've had. And if you need to, you can volume compensate it as well, just to make sure that you don't have another step to do afterwards to try and bring it back to its original level. Um, anyway, there's lots of things you can use it for. What do you use it for? Tell me, tell me in, your, in the comments below what you're finding is the most important use for it so far. Okay. That's it for now. Thanks for coming. I had a lovely time. Bye for now.